guys and welcome to the family fudge if you're new here welcome my name is Jennifer and on the last Thursday of every month I like to share my favorite things so right now I'm surrounded by things from Disneyland I have some books some new bags and even some makeup products so stay tuned and I will share it all with you Okay guys, now I know I said I was gonna share all of my favorite things and we will get to that. But first off, I have to say thank you to each and every one of you for subscribing and for supporting this channel because we, this month, reached over 100,000 subscribers, which is awesome. I'm so excited and thankful for all of you guys and all of your support and all of your comments. And with that being said, since we do have so many new friends on this channel, I wanted to give you kind of an idea of what these videos are about. You know, I do a lot of cooking videos and mommy videos on this channel, but I don't have a lot of time to talk about the things that I actually use and love and sort of behind the scenes. So that's what these videos are great for. So yes, I'm gonna show you some products that I love. None of these things are sponsored by the way, but I'm also going to give you a life update. So I'm gonna tell you what is next for the channel and what is next for us. So let's get started. Now usually with these favorite things videos, I like to use my Happy Planner as a guide. Now if you guys are not familiar with the Happy Planner, it is a planner of course, but there's also a page in each month called the Dashboard. And there's space for you to write down all of your favorite things for the month. Things you've been reading and cooking and eating and things like that. So I kind of use that as I make this video. I think that's really cool about these happy planners so you can look back and see what you liked last year or last month and it's kind of like a journal as well. The first section is reading. What books I've been reading this month? And I actually got two books and my sweet husband actually ordered both of these for me so let me show you what they are. It's actually two Disney themed cookbooks. I'll go ahead and flip the camera around so I can give you a better shot. But this first one is the Mickey's Gourmet Cookbook and it's all the most popular recipes from Disney World and Disneyland. And this other one is Deliciously Disney. So you have over 300 copycat recipes and you guys probably know if you've been watching this channel for any amount of time that I love recipes and Disney. So these are, a, this is a perfect combination. I love these books. I'm super excited to try some of these recipes in here and maybe even make some future videos. So watch for those. Moving right along, the next section is about watching, what I've been watching this month. And I actually have two YouTube channels and one really cute romantic comedy I found on Netflix to tell you about. So first up in the YouTube category, I have a channel called Leg Life. This channel centers around Adam and Sherry, a married couple from Alaska. Now I've never been to Alaska, but I think it would be awesome. And I really enjoy watching their vlogs because they really take you along with them and it makes you feel like you're there with them getting to experience what they're experiencing. So they're really good at the storytelling aspect of vlogging. So definitely check them out. I will link them down below. The next channel you should definitely check out is called Raising Fisherman, and it's a family with three boys and two ginormous adorable dogs and they actually just bought an RV and they're planning to travel across the country which I would love to do someday so I can't wait to watch their adventures so definitely check out their channel I will link it down below as well and now on to that Netflix movie you should definitely check out it is called when we first met and the star of the show his name is Adam Devine I think and he was kind of a jerky character guy from the movie Pitch Perfect, if you've ever seen that movie. Um, but this romantic comedy, he's not a jerk, he's really a nice guy. And this movie, I would say, is kind of like a cross between the movie Big with Tom Hanks and Groundhog's Day. So basically, he's reliving the same day over and over, and he's doing it because he wants to. He wants this girl to fall in love with him. It's such a sweet movie, so I highly recommend it. It's on Netflix. And now it's time to talk about food. The next two sections are what I've been cooking and what I've been eating this month. Now in the cooking category, I have a Disney-inspired recipe, which I actually made a video about. I'll link it down below as well. But it's a copycat recipe for a tomato basil soup. Now you guys, this soup is delicious and I'm so happy that I learned how to make it because it is that good. Also in the food category, I have eating. So something that was really tasty, but I didn't actually make myself. And that's from Disneyland as well. Now usually when we go to Disneyland, it's super hot. 
but when we just went this last time, it was rainy and cold. So I was able to try some soup at Disneyland for the first time. Cause usually when it's hot, the last thing you wanna eat is soup. But you guys, if it's cold at Disney, definitely try the soup. It's very good. I tried a chicken pot pie soup. It came in a delicious sourdough bread bowl with peas on top. And normally I'm not a huge fan of peas, but this was delicious. I ended up sharing this with my kids and it was gone in less than five minutes. Now on to the loving category. So I'm gonna show you some products that I've been loving and some makeup as well. First up, I have this beautiful Minnie Mouse bag. Look at that. I'll go ahead and turn the camera around so I can give you a better look. This was sent to me by a sweet subscriber named Emma. Now she actually makes these and sells them, so I'll definitely put her information down below. And she's not paying me to say this, but these bags are awesome and beautiful. She has so many different patterns and colors. This makes a perfect park bag as well. I actually took it with me on my last trip to Disney and it worked out so well. Thank you so much, Emma, for sending this to me. I love it. Now, speaking of Disney bags, I have one more to share with you and it's this guy. I'll go ahead and turn the camera around again so you can get a better look. I purchased this from a website called Amy's Small World. I'll link it down below as well. But she makes a lot of different size bags that are perfect for traveling with. And I love this big size bag because it fits my Minnie Mouse ears. Now you guys, I love my Minnie Mouse ears, but they are not cheap. So I definitely wanna protect them and keep them from getting ruined. So these bags are perfect for that. Now since we were talking about the bag, I might as well talk about what was inside. And it's my new set of Minnie Mouse ears. Now these ones are especially cool because you can interchange the bow. And there's so many different kinds of bows, you guys. They have one for different attractions, they have ones for different princesses, all different kinds of bows. Oh, they even have villains. So if you're into villains, you can find that as well. This one is a small world bow. So you can see the little clock face on there. There's numbers, it's so colorful. I love it. So you can actually clip it on. There's a little clip on the back and you can put it directly in the center or off to this side or off to that side. This is actually the bow that the ears came with. So it's kind of a black sequined with uh, silver and then I just bought this one on my last trip, so I love these, they're so pretty. Now also from Disneyland, I picked up a new Christmas ornament. I'm trying to pick one up every time we go, and this time I decided on this guy. Isn't that cute? This is a Disneyland specific ornament. So you can see Mickey on there and Minnie. Minnie is holding a doll Whip and Mickey is holding a park map. It is super cute. Now they had one specific to Disney's California Adventure as well, but Disneyland will always be my favorite. So I definitely had to go with this one. Okay, now a couple of beauty products. I don't often talk about beauty products because I am no beauty guru, but I do have a few products that I've been loving that you could try if you want to. First up, I have this package of Burt's Bees Facial Cleansing Towelettes. Now this actually came in my Fab Fit Fun Box, and I really like this one because it's a grapefruit scented, and it does a really good job of cleansing my skin without leaving sort of a weird residue on my skin. I have other makeup removers that kind of leave my skin feeling not so clean, but these do a really excellent job, and I love the grapefruit flavor. Flavor. <laughs> the grapefruit smell. I'm not, I'm not eating these, I promise. Now also in the makeup category, I have a new concealer. Now I've actually seen several of my favorite YouTubers use this, such as Kimmy from She's In Her Apron and Jordan Page. This is the Instant Age Rewind, and this is from Maybelline. So this is great for under eye circles, which I have chronically, and for covering up anything you wanna cover up. So basically there's this little fuzzy thing on the end and you crank it up to get the product out. And you guys, I've used some really expensive concealers before and this one is just as good and it's a fraction of the cost. Also in the makeup category, I have an awesome new budget-friendly primer. This is the Hard Candy in the Lift and Firm variety. There are several different choices. And I know Kimmy from She's In Your Apron also uses something very similar. And this surprisingly works really well. It's only about $5. And that's saying a lot because I was using the IT Cosmetics um, and this was really expensive, so save some money and try this. Okay guys, now I'm really trying not to make this video like 
half an hour long. So the next section is the YouTube section. So like I said at the beginning, we just reached over 100,000 subscribers and I cannot thank you guys enough. I'm so excited for where this channel is going and I really love all of your support and your kind comments. I would love it if you guys would let me know in the comments down below, out of all the different types of videos that I do, like cooking, or lunches or mommy videos, let me know which ones are your favorites and which ones you'd like to see more of because I really wanna make videos that you guys really wanna watch. So go ahead and leave your comments down below. I would greatly appreciate it. Now, just as a side note, you guys, we did have a winner for the huge vacation giveaway that we were doing, and she's already been contacted. So thank you guys for entering, and if I could, I would give a vacation away to each and every one of you. Now, quickly before I end this video, I did wanna give you a little bit of a life update. I've mentioned before that we are seriously considering moving to Utah, and I really feel like that's the right choice for us. It's just a matter of getting our house ready to sell and packing everything up and of course choosing a house in Utah. Um, I really think that that's just where we're supposed to be. But at the same time, it's a little bit scary because since we've had kids, we haven't moved. So we've only lived in this house with our kids and we've acquired a lot of stuff in the 10, about 10 years that we've lived here. So before we move, there's a lot of cleaning to do, a lot of decluttering and all of that fun stuff. And hopefully I'll be able to take you guys along with me on that journey. Okay guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I really enjoy these videos and getting to share with you some of the behind the scenes and some things that I'm really into and passionate about. You know, I've been talking a lot about Disney over the last month and that's because I have this new dream of becoming a Disney social media mom and that's just something I'm working towards. So I'm, I'm gonna be sharing more Disney content, but I'm also gonna be sharing the regular mommy content and lunches and recipes and things like that. Now let me know in the comments down below if any of my favorite things are also your favorite things. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Concealer, oh, not concealer. It's not concealer! Okay. The grapefruit smell. I'm not, I'm not eating these, I promise.